Hello there, everybody. This is Willy123T with a 4th gen Wi-Fi battle narration. And this is a match against some guy from Serbia, actually. So, uh, this is an OU standard mixed tier. Well, no, yeah, I guess just a standard match. That's, I guess that's what we'll call it. So, uh, got it out of there with my Nito Queen. Uh, brought on the Blaziken. He's gonna switch out. Uh, predicting the, uh, fucking fighting type move. He got a stand swim up, so he doesn't really need to stay in. Brought on the Skarmory, but, uh, I guess he was, he maybe he thought I was choice and that's why he stayed in, he thought I was going to switch because I was locked in that vacuum in, but I'm actually not, I've got a, uh, what do I have, I'm not really sure, but uh, that over he did take it out, which is good, I'm going to get out of there now because I see an earthquake coming, but uh, I guess he's predicted my switch and just got up the toxic spike, which is, was a good play, so I've got my Suicune in here and he's going to get out of there seeing a special move, so he goes into his obvious special wall, Blissey. And uh, I've got my calm mind up, and I could stay in here, but I really don't want to have this bulky battle between Blissey and Suicune, so I'm going to get out even though I probably would have won that. So now I bring in my uh, physical guy, uh, Blaziken, get hit with the Seismic Toss and Sandstorm and Poison and all that crap. And I know I'm really, my uh, Blaziken's really not in the condition to just come in here and try to mess with stuff, but... It was obvious he was going to switch out, so I decided to go for the overheat because I figured his best switch from what he's shown so far would be his Neo Queen, and pretty much everything else I have wouldn't really do much. And I got the crit, and I will say I think that crit did matter because I, he probably would have barely lived had I not gotten that crit. So I'm going to go to my Zapdos here because I don't want to get hit with those uh, toxic spikes. He's going straight for the explosion, which I really do didn't see. I did not predict that because he already had his. He still had his Tyranitar. Oh, this is funny. I live with one health. I was going for a substitute because I thought he would have went for the explosion the next turn had he just gotten me in that substitute situation. If I would have went for Roost there, that would have been a really funny play. But like I was saying, he had the Stone Edge Tyranitar. That's a way bigger threat. I don't know why he just exploded just to get my Zapdos out. He could have easily taken it out with something like his Tyranitar. So now it's my Needle Queen and his... uh. Blissey, I'm setting up my toxic spikes just because I know Blissey. All I can do is seismic toss, it will to my Nido Queen at least. All I can do is seismic toss, and uh, I can, you know, sort of, what's the word, pace myself, I guess. I don't know. So uh, I'm going to go for the earthquake here just because it is a physical move, so I thought it would do a decent amount, but it doesn't really do shit. So I'm just going to stand here and lose another 100 health, which sucks. But, uh,. I'm going to be getting out of there the next turn. Into uh, What do I go into? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, Ole, my uh, other physical. It's Choice Bandit, I think. And Alright, so I'm going to take the Seismic Toss. Doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to go for the Double Edge here because that is, that is stabbed and it's got high base power. But really anything my uh, Ole Tauros has could have taken out this Blissey at this point. But... I just want to go for the double edge just because I am choice, so if he does bring in something that I'm faster than, I can hit it hard with that. Because, unless he has a ghost type, which he doesn't. So he brings in his hit on top, obviously. But he got the mock punch off, so, uh, yeah, I mean, double edge isn't priority, so even if he was faster, it wouldn't really matter. So, luckily I have the toxic spikes up, so he's going to be taking damage. Uh, he goes for the mock punch again, which... It does tell me he doesn't have the Thunder Punch, which is good. Which kind of leads me to believe that he went for that. Is the since he knows I have Call Mind, it makes me think he's one of those sets like those all priority hit on top sets with like Mock Punch, Sucker Punch, Bullet Punch, and maybe like Fake Out or something. That's kind of what I was thinking. So my Sweet Coon's totally safe from that. So now he brings in the Tyranitar. Uh, I think I just call mine before that just so I knew I'd be able to take him out because I knew another rock punch would take me out. He hits the stone edge, which does more because he is faster. And that surf isn't going to take him out. So he. I talked to him after the battle and he said, right here he didn't go for the stone edge because he was afraid it would miss. So he went for the second best thing he had, which was crunch. But I live with 18 health and I'm going to take him out with the surf and that's game. So good game. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.